Hey, you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for hopping on this uh, YouTube recorded. Uh, usually I say YouTube live, but YouTube recorded. And as you know, every Tuesdays we do this call with my great friend here and business partner, Janella. So today's topic, we are going to be talking about watching how you talk to yourself. Awesome. So there you go. I think this is going to be a great note taking recording you guys please i would advise you guys to have some notebooks ready right like have some notebooks have a notepad ready <laughs> have a notepad ready ready to take some notes because we're going to share you some great tips as always right and how you can implement this very topic into your life by you know implementing new habits and new routines and just looking at certain things in a different perspective. And that's what we're here for, right? Is to share our stories, show to you guys that we're just not talking shit out, we're at, out our ass, that we're actually, you know, going through whatever topic that we're talking about. We either been through it or we're going through it. And we're sharing with you guys great tips on what you can do to move forward that's helping us to grow and move forward. Period. Yep. Everything we tell you guys we're doing ourselves so the reason why I wanted to um, touch on this topic is because I realized I was like we're both doing the work like we're both grinding out every day waking up trying to do what the best we can to make that day better than the last day but the thing we weren't doing that was really holding us back was how we treated ourselves how we talked to ourselves we were so hard on ourselves like we never thanked ourselves for how far we've gone we're we always felt like we're not where we are and we're never where we are so we were so hard on ourselves like we still are like we get in those moments but I think it's good to acknowledge that you are not where you are but that's a good thing like if if you are where you are I guarantee you that's your last day on earth like we wake up every day because we still have a purpose um so at the end of the day no one's where they are at right and you have to watch how you treat yourself <laughs> it's like number one right like I think as the first thing we get up in the morning time what are you saying to yourself is it something that's negative or is it something that's positive are you looking mm -hmm up and as you wake up and yawn and wake up in the morning time are you saying thank god i'm alive thank god for allowing me to see another day thank god i you know are you waking up like, fuck i gotta wake up it's so early fuck, I gotta work. fuck. I gotta, you know what i'm trying to say it's see that's already right off the bat as you open your eyes already self negative, negative. that's yeah. out of your mouth that's then what, what acts th um thoughts become words words become actions so if you're already starting your morning or if you're already waking up and going throughout the day talking negative words and having negative thoughts then boom you're already self-sabotaging your damn self ain't nobody got to come inside of your life and do nothing yeah to that's so true right yeah mm -hmm. it's <laughs> it's like the moment you realize that it's you versus you more than anything it really changes the game. I'm sorry, my cat is just going insane. A hundred percent. Like it's you against the world, man. And that's what it is. It's you against the world. So at the end of the day, if you're going to be your worst enemy and, you know, you know, be your worst enemy and be beating up yourself, ain't nobody got to beat up you. You doing it to your damn self. And that's the majority of the time. That's what it is. We be beating up ourselves more than somebody else coming and sabotage our day and beat up us. It's, it's us that are, and then we are attracting those people to come mess with our, our environment because of the fact that we're already thinking negative. We're already acting yeah. negative, we're already talking to ourselves negative. But then That's it's easier for us to turn around and blame somebody else or blame a circumstance where at the end of the day, you caused it. Take fault for your own actions of uh -huh. your work. And, and physical actions that was my biggest problem I could not like I was so good at telling people <laughs> what they should work on but if people the moment they told me what to work on I was like excuse me like um no like no 
I don't think so. Why are you even speaking to me? Like I was so bad at that. Um, but then I realized like I needed to catch myself. Like if I could catch myself, no one could talk to me about what I can do. So I was like, I have to be self-aware about what I do. I have to be self-aware. And then when I um, started to think about how I talk to myself, I was like, why am I talking to myself like this? I'm my own best friend. Like this is my body for the rest of my life. I'm in this body forever. Why am I giving myself such a hard time on, for example, like everybody knows Kylie Jenner, right? Like everybody and their mom know know who she is I love her body like I wish I had her body and I used to always like beat myself up when I was working out I was like damn like I'm working out so hard why can't I get that ass like why can't I get that ass I'm working out every freaking day eating protein shakes I'm fucking sore I can't walk up the stairs and I still can't get that ass like (laughs) like regardless or not if it's surgery or whatever that that doesn't matter it's her life the fact of the matter is why are you being so hard on yourself like why are you being so hard on the fact that you can't you like it's someone else's body you should I realize I'm like I'm freaking grateful that I can even like I'm able-bodied I'm healthy I'm 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 waking up every day and I'm I'm in the, in the prime years of my life that's what people are money at our work you know at our our business and we gonna buy that booty girl we gonna buy that booty. <laughs> <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> but like uh regardless of if we we're gonna buy booty in the future or not <laughs> okay um the thing is that like how, even if you buy that booty you're not gonna be happy True. if you're not happy with yourself right now you're always gonna, like you're everything always gonna something else yeah exactly you're always gonna find something else to to look at and want to change like you're always like every single day right trace like frick it's like okay i look good today but i don't know i have like i have a pimple like it it was it's crazy because like it's it's so crazy how hard we are on ourselves but when we look at other people like for example if your best friend were supposed were to tell you fuck I'm so ugly like I'm so fucking ugly you would beat your best friend up and tell them what the fuck are you doing why are you talking to yourself like that like did I do do I treat you like you treat yourself like your best friend that's that's what I told myself and that's made all the big all the difference I'm like I'm my own best friend this is my body for the rest of my life this is my vessel I should treat myself like a goddess even if I don't feel that way I had to remind myself. It's so, so what are some things you do, so, Trace? It's so crazy how we're talking about this because I'm a, I'm on the front. So um, what was it? Yesterday I was sitting on the couch. I'm like, I'm holding my belly and I'm like, where, where the fuck did this belly come from? Like quarantine times, what are you doing to me? Why I got a belly? Like shit. I be working out of the gym 24 freaking seven. I'm at home now and I got a belly. Like and I, and I was just kind of putting myself down, right? And then I said to myself, no, I'm a braces belly. All I got to do is that I need to take care of myself more, right? Mm-hmm. So I need to just target a little bit more on working out on my abs, right? Because I do work out every day. So target more working out on my abs and lead, cut down on the sugar, cut down on, you know, my carbohydrates that I'm intaking. It's just course correcting. So you see, so true. So we we all human, right? And especially women, we be a really, really hard on ourselves. And sometimes we can put ourselves down. But I'm coming to realize, you guys, words are freaking powerful, right? So one of my things that I said this year, I'm going to narrow down and focus, focus in on for myself on all areas of my life, whether it be business, whether it be my body, whether it be love, what, whatever it be, my self talk, I said, my self talk is, is what develops everything inside of my life because it's how you decide Honestly, to yourself, yeah how you decide to see yourself inside of the mirror is how you are going to attract certain people yeah. 
life, whether it be in a relationship, whether it be money, whether it be your business, whether it be your body, whatever it is, it's how you decide to see yourself. Yeah, for real. Self-love is like, definitely, I could say it's the foundation of everything. If you can get that right, even if you don't meditate, even if you don't read, honestly, you're good, to be honest. But this, this is a different topic. But always be aware between self love and like being obsessed with yourself. Obviously, exactly. don't be obsessed with yourself. <laughs> when it comes to where the topic is talk, the talks that you have with yeah. yourself, it's words. It's word. Mm-hmm. The talk you have. Word. Listen, there's two ways we talk to ourselves. There's the ways that we talk verbally out, and there's ways that we talk inside of our head. Right. Mm-hmm. So two, two ways. So both of them are really important because once you, that thought comes up in your head, it's going to come outside of your mouth sooner or later, right? And then when it comes out of your mouth, then it becomes an action. So this is what we're really talking about in this subject, what re- this, uh, this topic and what we're talking about with you guys. What was really powerful for me is I started to realize how much the self-talk I was having inside of my head was affecting my emotions. And then it was affecting mm-hmm. my actions. Because we could think, I'll make an example for myself. When I would talk about my belly or I would talk about my body to myself, it would kind of get me discouraged to work out. It would get me discouraged to eat healthy because I said to myself, I'm having this self-talk in my, my head. Look at myself in the mirror saying like, fuck, like she said, I'm doing all this work, work exercising, eating healthy, and I don't see, I don't see the change, right? But mm. it's like, end of the day you have to look at long term whatever you do you have to change your perspective and not want fast results fast fast results pull yourself back and 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 put yourself back in a situation where you're gonna have to start back from scratch anyways so I started to change my perspective and how I looked at it and I'm just like at the end of the day if I want that nice body that's something for long term I want to keep that consistent so what routines can I find for myself and what self-talks can I say to myself that's gonna motivate me motivate me to keep that going right self-talks I would say to myself is I love my body and at the end of the day my body is unique to me because I'm unique there ain't no other Tracy Gobin out there that's like me I'm me right so my body is unique to me so I don't want to look like nobody else because I me. God made me to be unique in my body, my eyes, everything about me is unique to me. So I started to say to myself, I'm just like, no, God made me in the image of just me being original, me being me. So I, that's what helped me a lot, you guys, to not compare myself to other, other people's bodies is that my body is my body. And at the end of the day, how I looked at it too, is this like, it's a combination of like being healthy and that everything else comes around being healthy. You want that nice body? Yeah, be healthy, right? Mm-hmm. Want to live longer? You have to be healthy. You want to, you know, take care of your mental health? You have to be healthy because mm-hmm. there's an amazing video from Ed Milet, and you could go search it up where there's like a nutritionist that talks about how it, the food that you put in your body, it, it reacts to your brain. There's something yeah. that to That's your so brain. True your thought processes, your emotions, everything. So what, what does that come back around? Like that comes around back to like your mental health, your, 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 your health in general. Mm-hmm. So working out that body to get that big ass or, you know, be, you know, have that body. It's like, it comes back down to your mental health, mm-hmm. Did you take care of your mental health. Right. So I just started to just change my perspective and how I was looking at these self talks that were negative to me to turn them around to be something positive for long term right mm-hmm. so it's, again it's crazy we're having this talk because yesterday i was saying to myself oh my god my belly so but then this morning had a sick ass workout co- worked out a lot of my core right and then i'm just like i don't know something switched inside of my mind where i'm just like oh my belly's getting flatter oh my god after one workout right but yeah. i look up in the mirror and i just like I'm just like, damn, I'm feeling like a million bucks, right? But it's because I changed my perspective and I, and I said to myself, okay, I just need to course correct. I'm going to eat healthy today. I'm going to work on my abs and that's it, right? And, 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 I, and I'm unique to me. I changed my perspective and how I was seeing myself and myself talk in the mirror, right? I think mirror work is so important 
when we have our negative self-talks, start talking to ourselves in the mirror. That's another thing I started to do. A tip I can give you guys is talk to yourself in the mirror. Look yourself in the mirror and say that I love this, this little belly. I love the way I look. I love everything about me because I'm unique, though just the way I am. And doing work helps a lot with that, you guys. So that's what helps me today. I woke up, got my hair done, you know, put on a nice fancy dress. So I'm posting up on Instagram and I'm saying, I feel like a million bucks. I feel so good. I'm feeling like shit. Like I'm ready to walk the runway because why? Like I changed my perspective and the self-talk that I was having inside of the mirror and saying to myself, like, I'm going to just do the work. I'm going to just do the work. I'm not going to overanalyze what other people's body type is or overanalyze it. Just do the work and know that you are unique just the way you are. So that's one big tip, you guys. If we were to talk about self-talk about, because there's so many topics we can talk about for self-talk, but for me personally, mm-hmm. like Janelle has said about her body and that's why I wanted to touch on this. And it was just a coincidence because I was feeling that way yesterday and feeling this way today. But that's one self-talk when it comes to looking yourself in the bo- your, the mirror and comparing your body to anybody else is what helps me a lot. For real. For real, it's um, like when I started to really reflect on how I talk to myself, I was like, what's the point of doing all this work? Like, why am I working out for? Like, really? I'm just working out for a big ass? Like, mm-hmm. what's that going to do to me? What's that going to do to me? Like, that's not for me. That's really not for me. Because at the end of the day, like, um, my partner, like, no matter what, he if your partner loves you or if you're gonna attract somebody that you really want to care about you they're not only gonna care about your body Mm -hmm. like if they only care about your body then like that's not the person for you that's what I realized I'm like why do I only why am I so focused my on my outer appearance when really it's the inside that matters that's what's gonna last long term like my thoughts how I treat myself is what's gonna get me to where I want to be so um I realized I'm like I'm gonna work out for the benefit of my body I'm gonna eat for the health of my body I'm gonna talk to myself like how I want to treat my younger self like I used to I I like do meditations where um you kind of like go back and you look at your younger self and you tell them like um you kind of like look at your younger self and you realize like how would you treat yourself if you had to treat your younger self like how would you talk to yourself if you were talking to your younger self and then when you kind of look at it that way you wouldn't talk to yourself the way you do like you wouldn't really treat a little kid unless you're like evil like you wouldn't tell him like why do you have such a flat ass like why you wouldn't you wouldn't tell a kid that like you wouldn't um So um, when I looked at that, I was like, yeah, why am I so hard on myself? Like, there's nothing to be hard about. Like, so what if I don't look like um, the way I wanted to look like? Like other people tell me all the time, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Why don't I believe them? Literally, when I was in grade six, um, my favorite teacher, shout out Mr. Arujo. Yay. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) if you ever see this video thank you so much he was like um he used to compliment me all the time he, w- he was like you write really well you I was like that odd girl in the group um <laughs> he was like he realized like when he was complimenting me I never like like used to take in the compliment I used to be like no blah blah, blah. I used to like reflect it like deflect it and then he was he gave me a talk he was like when someone compliments you even if you don't believe it, just say thank you. Just say thank you. Just accept it. Because they're not wasting their time complimenting you for no reason unless they're trying to like fluff you and they want something from you. But most of the time, people don't waste their time on you because they're so focused on themselves most of the time, right? So when I I realized that ever since I was younger, that really resonated with me. Like I remembered that. I was like, why? don't I accept compliments and then as I grew older I kind of like developed this attitude where it's like fake it till you make it 
Mm -hmm. make it till you make it but that only gets you so far you gotta fake it in a way that you're not overconfident or like you don't you you think you're the shit because a lot of girls do that these days they're like I'm a bad bitch I'm a bad bitch blah 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 but are you really Mm -hmm. you know what I mean is that who you really want to be like is that really what's going to give you self-love like is that talk really gonna be a positive thing for you like yes you can be a bad bitch yeah you can you can do all that you can be a baddie but is is that who you want to be you know because like there's a lot of um like celebrities these days that are really evoking confidence but they're not really evoking self-love because there's a difference right you can be confident but you you cannot love yourself so you got to figure that out. And the way I figured that out was I really, it was a lot of self-reflection because it's like, like, why am I spending all my time focusing on the way I look when really people will love me just the same if I didn't do my hair, right? Tracy doesn't like me because I freaking, um, you know, have nice long hair or like, um, whatever like she that's not why she likes me as a friend she likes me because I keep it real with her like you gotta look at your attributes on the inside that makes you different because definitely you look different nobody like I feel like everybody has similar characteristics but there's always going to be something that's unique about you but your most unique self is you on the inside right Tracy like The reason why I love her is because I have never seen anybody as much of a fireball as she is. Like, no matter what she's going through, she's going to bring you up. Like, that's why I like her. I I think she's beautiful, obviously. But, like, even if she looked different, like, I would love her the same. You know what I mean? Like, look at it that way. No, it's it's so it's so crazy. Oh my god, I'm so happy we're having this discussion because I was just speaking to this wonderful girl and if you're watching, you know who you are. Um, you know, and she's gone through so much and I think that, you know, like she's gone through so much mentally and emotionally with getting abused. Um, so much from somebody she really cares about and it's the same thing with me and I think that when you get bashed over and over and over and over again from somebody that you really love and you want them to love you it really fucks with your self-talk that you have in your head right even though you 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 know something you're still something inside of you is is saying no you're not good enough or no you're not gonna make it or no because you had somebody bashing you for so freaking that's so true and you guys either that be in a relationship or sometimes it could be your own loved ones that did you whether it be a family member that just didn't believe in you or it be your your dad or your mom was a narcissist or, or they were abusive mentally not physically or they were both right? Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, you guys, the self-talks that we were having inside of our head is not even ours. It's Mm -hmm. not ours. ours. And we are just conditioned to play that broken record in our head over and over and over again. And it's like, that's a good point. It's stuck in our subconscious mind. And then it turns our subconscious mind turns into like our ego, And then our ego tries to protect us and shield us to not feel that pain or that disappointment or that anxiety. And then your ego comes up and it kind of roadblocks you from changing your perspective, changing the way that you think of yourself because you were so conditioned to think of somebody telling you this or you growing up hearing this for such a long period of time it's like again a broken record that plays over and over and over again and now when you want to try to change that 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 broken record your ego steps up and it's unknown for you to change it and then comes and roadblocks you and then you're stuck in the same damn dirty cycle thinking about thoughts that weren't originally or not even yours as you were growing up as a kid 
You were free, free. You were a free spirit. You didn't know what was ugly. You didn't know what was a flat ass. You didn't know what an ugly nose. Yeah. No, you didn't know any of that shit, right? You were just free spirit. If you could run outside, if your parents let you run outside naked, you'll be like, I'm naked. And you run outside, right? And you'd be free, right? But yeah. somewhere down the line, we got lost, right? And we got, our minds got clouded with all these thoughts that are not of us, right? And don't get me wrong, like, it's freaking hard. It's hard, not hard. Remember, words are powerful. It's challenging to now change those old habits and old ways of conditioned thoughts that you had. But this is why we're talking about this topic, you guys, because the most important thing that you could freaking do is take a step forward to say that I acknowledge these negative thoughts I had and I'm ready to step up and make a change. I am ready to step up and change my conditioning. No matter how challenging it may be, you're ready to make that first step. And I think that's what advice I can give you and, and Janela, Janela can give you is that we are take the first tip that we can give you to this topic is taking the first step to acknowledge, acknowledge that I have those negative self uh, thoughts in my head acknowledge that my ego sometimes gets in the way of me mm. evolving and changing my perspective and changing my thoughts and how I see life outside of me right and saying that I am ready to do the inner work to make the change on those self-talks that are not doing me any justice that are keeping me stagnant in life and how I see myself and how I see the outside world right and yeah. I that's the biggest first step and tip that we can give you guys to, to do something about this topic if, if you're dealing with it. This to be aware. Yeah, definitely. Like do something about it. Because I think the reason why I wanted to talk about it is, is because when you're aware of it, you can definitely do something about it. The more aware you are. And sorry to cut you off. I was like, oh, I didn't. <laughs> But like, I mean, I, I, it's just so exciting to talk about because Tracy and I always have this problem. We're, like, if if you're having trouble um, talking, catching yourself, l listen to our past video on accountability. Have someone you trust and you know it cares about you. Tell them, look, I'm having trouble with how I talk to myself. Like, I really need you to catch me with how I talk to myself and I have like I'm so grateful like Tracy does that to me automatically I have a partner like like I have people I'm grateful for having people in my life that really help me out with that because I I that's my biggest problem like it's not, not an easy thing like definitely Tracy brought up a good point that it's may not be your own thoughts you probably grew up believing that way about you and the first step is questioning question question your thoughts like why do I feel like I'm not enough why do I feel like I don't deserve this why do I feel why do I why am I why do I feel like I'm self-sabotaging myself how am I self-sabotaging <laughs> sabotaging Oh my God, why can't I talk? Why can't I say that? Why can't, why do I feel like I'm self-sabotaging? Because I feel like I do that, like I used to do that all the time. Like I used to tell myself, why am I even like trying? And I wouldn't consciously think that I was telling this to myself, but I was realizing that I don't put myself in opportunities where I have to work really hard because I'm scared to fail. And when you realize it, everyone's scared to fail. Like all your fears, someone's had them before. Like, you know what I mean? And don't, don't be so hard. I just wanted to jump in on that little part and saying, somebody taught me, right, recently, that it's all about, pers that word fear is all about perspective. It's how you decide to look at it. He taught me that fear like a fear of failing is your perspective and how you decide to categorize that word fail failure failure yeah. is you that's it you threw in the towel you said fuck it 
I give up on myself. I give up on this. It doesn't work. That's it. That's failure. But failing, like not passing something or not getting the result exactly how you wanted it, because you guys, that's what it is. It's getting that yeah. result you yeah. to have. Yeah. Right? And it not happen that way is not failure. It's you learning another way to obtain what it is that you want. Ooh. So yeah, that's true. know that it's not failure. Failure, failure is when you throw in the towel and you give up, then you could say you're a failure. You don't want to, yeah. your ego wouldn't admit it. Your ego will not admit it. But if you, if you did not pass or get the, you did not get the results exactly what your perspective, your, your mind wanted, that outcome that your mind wanted, that doesn't mean that you didn't fail. You just learned another way and how to achieve it. Mm -hmm. so I just yeah. want to put that out there, you guys. Perspective, perspective. Mm -hmm. I learned that was a big game changer. Yeah, that's so true. Like, honestly, when you shift your perspective, it's it's really rewarding because um, it's the truth. Like, why when you look at yourself on the outside, you see yourself for what you are. Like, you kind of like, realize your flaws realize what makes you great like look at yourself i have fucking great eyebrows i love my eyebrows you know what I mean? like big yourself up no one else is gonna big you up like i mean like sure you can have an amazing partner that bigs you up you can have a mom that bigs you up but you're not gonna believe any but what anybody says unless you believe it for yourself because like i i never did you know what i mean like you it could be different but like for the people out there that are having a problem with um self-confidence treat yourself like you're a baby you're your best friend you're your own partner treat yourself how you would want others to treat you because you're teaching others how to love you and you're teaching yourself how to love yourself you are honestly no matter if you have good parents or not you have, you have good best friends or not or you have a good partner or not you the way you treat yourself is gonna reflect your world around you period like when <laughs> when i started treating myself really kindly and i started um being like patient with myself i got better at communicating my emotions my relationships got better when i started to realize okay, I'm not the shit, I need help. Like, I got better at the things that I wanted to work on. You know, like, don't take so much weight off your shoulders. It's not all yours to carry. It's not. Like, you're not alone. You literally have me and Tracy right here telling you guys, like, we, we're going through it too. Like, we're not afraid to tell you guys for real that we're going through it. Like, you know? we get it's a daily struggle but like look at tracy she's freaking glowing go back to her first video bro if you see honestly, you guys ever want to see the change go back to my first instagram i mean first youtube video and you're just like whoa is this the same girl it's like so great crazy how much i have grown mentally and emotionally right and it's just like it's the self talks, you guys. It's the self talks you guys have with yourself. And like Janella said, we we're always gonna struggle with it, right? Because of the fact that we are now, you know, transitioning into a newer version of ourselves, right? So now we're literally retraining and reprogramming our mind to think how we originally think of ourselves and not how like other people perceived us to be or you know, thoughts of the past, right? and how we were grown and conditioned. We are now, if you wanna really work on yourself and change your self-talks, it's like, obviously it's gonna be a challenge. There's gonna be some days that you battle with it, some days that you're good on it. Like today's my good day, but yesterday I battled with it, right? So it's just like, but being persistent with being on top of yourself, of catching those self-talks. And it was so crazy because like I said, the same girl, if you're watching this, you know who you are. I had a conversation with her this morning and I was telling her, right, that 
you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're a great mom. You're an inspiration. I was just feeding her with positivity. And I was saying to her that she needs to, you're, she's home, she's home by herself all day. She works from at home. And I said, you need to say out loud, you're at home. There ain't nobody here. you going to call you crazy. You need to say it out loud to yourself, right? I am amazing. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am. Affirmations are so powerful to change so your powerful, yes. right? Because it's reprogramming your mental headspace, right? So affirmations, you guys, is another tip I can give you. If you want to change your, your mental headspace and the self-talk you have with yourself, write down affirmations and say them out loud to yourself and the affirmations that you need to say to change your mental headspace is the same negative ones that you're playing constantly in your head so example if you're saying i'm ugly then i am pretty if you're saying i am fat i am in fit if you're saying that i don't have enough money i am prosperous i am a money magnet right so the same negative self talks that you're having with yourself that's playing like a broken record over and over again say some affirmations that are saying that the the opposite of it that's going to now reprogram your mind to change those negative self talks and what you're having with yourself and how you see yourself and like it takes about 30 days to build in a habit take that into consideration nothing's going to happen overnight it's a pattern and that it, it's a pattern and that the the what is it the pattern that you're putting in place in your life to change is it's going to be set up and you're going to take at least 30 days to change that pattern that you have on yourself right and i think that's another thing that a lot of people get twisted is like they want to see the here and now results they, they go oh man i see these affirmations they're not working or man i'm doing this and this is not working understand everything takes time you need to be gentle with yourself add it to your affirmations i am patient exactly. <laughs> right no but it's exactly another tip that janella shared that is going to intertwine with what i'm just saying to you right now with your affirmations is look at you back when you were a child look back at when you were a child are you gonna that's that's you being a bully think about it this way let me let me drop a bomb on you guys whoever is listening to this because this changed my perspective and how i started to self-talk to myself now if you were to look back at yourself and close your eyes i i remember when i if i close my eyes and i look back at my inner child i remember me being six years old wearing a purple pants a white shirt barbie and ken in one hand my hair in one braid i can specifically remember a time right take that time when you see that child when you're younger and now all those negative self-talks you're talking to yourself would you would you want anybody to say those mean things to that same little child that you're seeing inside of your head would you no right that's like you have you're literally your biggest bully you're your bully now yeah. take it in this way if you have a kid or if you have a little brother or sister would you want a bully to be saying those same negative things that you're saying to yourself to your little brother or to your little sister if you, you see how crazy it is and if you wouldn't want someone to do that to somebody you love why are you doing it to you who is so beautiful who is so amazing think of it that way and now that's what's going to change your yes yeah, because yes. you're going to turn around and say to yourself damn i never really thought about it that way man no i'll beat the shit out of another like person if they were to talk to me that way so why are you talking to yourself that way? Right? So that's a big mind blowing experience that happened for me that changed my perspective and my outlook and how I decided to catch myself and catch myself and the self talks I have to myself. Because at the end of the day, I would never want no one to talk to my daughter the way I talk to myself. Isn't that fucked up? I would never want nobody to disrespect my daughter the way this negative self talks that I say to myself. So why am I doing it to myself? That's a big question you guys can take and tip that can help you guys to change your perspective and change the way that you talk to yourself. Curious, like, yeah, yeah. like, I don't know what else to add to that. Like, seriously, it's, 
changed my life because I realized that um, all my, I was such a baby. <laughs> I was such a baby. I expected everyone else to make me feel better. And they did, you know, but mm -hmm. at, to a certain extent, like people can only make you feel better to a certain extent. What really matters is if you can love yourself. Like when you love yourself, you attract everything you want everything like it's i i'm not i wish i could like give you guys point by point examples but this is gonna take another yeah. hour but like everything i wanted started to come when i treated myself better not like i don't know what else to tell you guys like when you like you will know for yourself like and I can't wait for you guys like I cannot wait I'm so excited I'm so excited because it's why not treat yourself better like the fuck like it's your life is you're your own best friend you might as well have fun with this craziness right now you know it's it's gonna um and you deserve it you deserve all the love in this world like it's limitless Love is limitless, literally limitless. There's no way of measuring it. So give yourself as much love as you can. So that's all. In all areas, you guys, whether, and this talk that we're having about is in all areas of your life, whether it be in business and you're beating yourself up right now because your business is not doing so well, right? Whether it be in your body, whether it be in a relationship, whatever it is, whatever area inside of your life, these tips and tools that we shared with you and the way we were trying to change your perspective and open your eyes and open your mind to acknowledge these things that we shared with you is going to help you on all areas of your life. You know, like the, the, the way when I started to be more mindful of the words that come out of my mouth, the thoughts that I have inside of my head, right? And the consistency of that broken record, playing those same thoughts and same negative talks to myself and acknowledging them and speaking them out loud to say, those are no longer my truth. That's not who I am. I'm amazing. I'm beautiful. I'm saying affirmations and, you know, taking charge to look at my inner child and saying, I don't want somebody to beat up my daughter like that. Why am I beating up myself? Those little tips, you guys, those little freaking tips really helped me to love myself more, to see the value in my life, see my see the, see the value in the time I spend with myself. You start not like Janella said, you start loving yourself so much that you start leveling up on every area inside of your life. You start really narrowing in and saying, I don't need nobody on the outside to tell me I'm beautiful. I don't need nobody on the outside to treat me good and buy me this or do that for me. You stop looking and searching for shit on the outside and start looking in the inside and saying, what can you do for yourself to make yourself feel happy and loved? Because at the end of the day, when this is right, everything else around you will be right. That's why it's so, so damn freaking important to be more aware of what is the self-talk you have with yourself because you create your reality through those self-talks that you're having with yourself, right? Why not make it amazing? Why not feel like you are Queen Elizabeth, not Queen Elizabeth, she old, um, whatever girl that you look up with. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> she's scary, bro. Whatever man, you know, idol or whatever. I'm not even gonna say a race, uh, race or age or the weedy. <laughs> Let's say that. <laughs> you know, whatever idol you look up. Beyonce. Oh my god, who's telling you? Who's telling you you can't treat yourself like you're Beyonce? Yeah, like you're who's telling you I don't have a Beyonce. Um, but like <laughs> You know, like treat yourself amazing. You deserve to treat yourself amazing. Don't wait for anybody else to treat you amazing. Like Janella said, she made a great point. Love is endless. You are a walking being of love, right? Everything that you desire in, in life starts with the love that you give it yourself, right? So treat yourself with love, respect, honesty, loyalty, everything that you desire outside. Treat yourself that way today by being more cautious of those self-talks you have with yourself. And if you guys need tips, other tips and tools on how to do so, and you guys are open to know more, 
please DM us. Please ask us questions. We're here to inspire. We're here to make a difference and we're here to help you guys and whoever's listening to this grow to become a better version of themselves. Period. I don't know why I keep on saying that, but like she's just made points. Stella? Huh? Anything you want to add to that? Um, all I want to say, let's end with this. I saw this on Twitter the other day. Don't define your future with your, um, your future successes with your past. Like they said it nicer than that, <laughs> but don't define what you've been going through, what you're going through right now with what's happening to you in the future, because you literally don't know what's going to happen to you. You're shaping it yourself. So shape it the way you want to shape it the best way we we're giving you tools we're giving you advices all the time what really is helping us right now to get us where we want to be is how we talk to ourselves right mm -hmm. and if you guys do want a flat ass i read somewhere that if you're not stressed ladies <laughs> i mean if you want a fat ass and a flat ass if you're if you're not stressed you're more likely to gain fat at the right parts of your body let's just say that there you go there you I go like you guys. That. not in the belly <laughs> <laughs> you guys i want to end off with this and i wanted to say at the end of the day we need to we need to practice this self-love on ourselves because we only have one like today is today we're not going to get it back Every hour, every minute, every second you spend replaying that record, that broken record inside of your mind that's no longer your truth, you are literally being a prisoner in your life. You are not free. You're being a prisoner and you are now just draining away hours and in time inside of your life that you'll never get back, right? So that's what I want to leave with you guys. I know I said a little bit of a couple of things that hit maybe hit home for some people that was really intense and really dug a little bit deep, but that's what we have to do in order for us to grow. We have to touch those deep sides of us that we, we ignore that we don't want to touch. We need to even sides you don't like. Yeah. We need to address those areas because if you don't, there's no sugarcoating it. You're going to live in a cycle over and over and over again. That's going to allow you to keep hitting a wall no matter what, right? And there's nobody outside, no man, no woman, nobody else in this world that's going to come and make you feel good until you, you feel good about yourself, right? Yeah. Not even Drake. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I don't know about that one. No, nah, you can't take back what you said. <laughs> but it all starts with you, right? So whoever's listening to this, you guys, we really, really hope that we shared with you guys some really good tips to help you to move forward, start loving yourself, start being a better version of yourself for your business, for your kids, for your family, and for yourself, right? I always end off on all my videos by saying each one, teach one, share the love, share the knowledge, whatever you, whatever you learned in this video. Please be, you know, please be a light boat instead of a tugboat. Don't just take this information and tag along with it. Be the light for other people. Inspire other people, whether it be your sister, your brother, your, your aunt, your uncle, your friend, your best friend, your coworker, whoever it is. You don't have to share this video with them, but share the tips and knowledge that you learn from this and have a positive conversation instead of a negative conversation, right? That's not doing you any justice. So thanks so much for watching you guys. We will see you guys again next week, Tuesday. Um, we really appreciate the love and the support that you give to us, you guys, by hopping on, you know, and, and allowing us to share these great tips and knowledgeable information with you guys. Please go check out, you guys. We, I'm now on all platforms, you guys. Go check me out on Instagram. My Instagram page is Toronto underscore Tracy underscore Gobin. And then I am on TikTok. It's um, Toronto underscore 666. And now I'm super excited. I have a podcast out. We are dropping the podcast tomorrow at 7 p.m., right? It's called The Winner's Circle. I'm doing it with my a really good friend, um, Tricia. And we're going to talk about a bunch of different topics. Um, we are on all platform. You got uh, all platform. You guys were on anchor. We're on Spotify. We have an Instagram page. It's also the same name called the winner circle. Please go check us out. You guys 
go show some support, go sh show some love. These are just other platforms that you can go and, you know, help yourself to grow mentally and emotionally. Please go check out Nella. Nella has, is on a couple platforms as well. Go check her out. Um, yeah, I'm on, on Instagram and TikTok. The same name, Janela E. Domingo. Awesome. So you guys go check her out. And again, we are trying to help you grow. So take these tools, take these, you know, advice that we're giving you and let's go kick ass and become the best version of ourselves. So thanks again yeah. for watching, guys. Take care. <laughs>